Before destruction, the heart of a man is haughty. Proverbs, chapter 18, verse 12. There is an old and common saying, that coming events cast their shadows before them, and the wise man who wrote this text teaches us that a haughty heart is the prophetic prelude of evil. Pride is as safely the sign of destruction as the change of mercury in the weather glass is the sign of rain, but far more reliable than that. When men have ridden the high horse of arrogance, destruction has always overtaken them. Observe David's aching heart. It showed an eclipse of a man's glory when he dotes upon his own greatness, and David's heart condemned him after he had numbered the people. Consider Nebuchadnezzar, the mighty builder of Babylon. He was reduced to creeping on the earth, devouring grass like oxen, his nails growing like birds' claws, and his hair like eagles' feathers. Pride made the boaster a beast, just as once before, it turned an angel into a devil. God hates high looks, and never fails to bring them down. All the arrows of God are aimed at proud hearts. O oh Christian, is your heart haughty this evening? Pride can get into the Christian's heart, as well as into the sinner's. It can also delude him into dreaming that he is rich, have become wealthy, and have need of nothing. Are you glorying in your graces or your talents? Are you proud of yourself that you have had holy frames and sweet experiences? Take note, reader, there is destruction coming to you also. Your flaunting poppies of self-conceit will be pulled up by the roots, your mushroom graces will wither in the burning heat, and your self-sufficiency will become like straw for the dunghill. If we forget to live at the foot of the cross in the deepest lowliness of spirit, God will not forget to make us smart with his rod of correction. O oh, unduly exalted believer, destruction will come to you. Although there can be no destruction of your soul, there will be destruction of your joys and of your comforts. Therefore, he who glories, let him glory in the Lord. Amen.